the world danced around Aisha as she watched in wonder and relief. Yet even as she rejoiced, she also kept watch for Rake's return, because whatever drew Rake to destroy it in the first place would surely draw her back again. As Aisha surveyed her work, she began to notice something. Everything that had been restored was not only alive again, it was fuller and stronger. The flowers bloomed larger and more beautifully. The river almost overflowed its banks at every turn. The creations left higher, moving without failing or faltering. Everything she had restored came back to life with more power. Now Isha realized how to defeat Rake. As if the very thought had summoned her, Rake appeared behind Isha. Her robes whipped about her in the wind. Her eyes widened at the sight of Aisha's restored world, and a sneering smile crept across her face. Her fingers twitched eagerly. She approached Aisha. Aisha turned as well, keeping Rake in sight. They paced around each other like two jungle cats, waiting to pounce.